Hello, it's me, the girlfriend from Girlfriend Reviews. I have a boyfriend, and he is a real gamer guy. Am I right, ladies? Am I right? That's why I watched him play Diddy Kong Racing today. <laughs> My boyfriend said this is a rare game, but it's sold over 5 million copies, so he must be kind of stupid. Diddy Kong Racing was so ahead of its time that it not only made Banjo-Kazooie a playable character 20 years before Smash Bros did, it made Banjo-Kazooie a playable character before Banjo-Kazooie did. It even introduced a young star named Conker, who would go on to be remembered more for his public urination than his driving. But those aren't the only iconic characters in Diddly Dong Racing. They also invited this Ninja Turtle and his mom, Master Splinter. Who else they got in there? Tekken is in there, Kessin, their fucking, what is that, like a clock? It would take me all day to name all the stupid ass characters in this game. So here we go, there's Diddy Kong from DK Bongos, Tony the Tiger from Serial, Bumper the Badger from, he's from Diddy Kong Racing, but I'm a girl. Always remember this, but I have a boyfriend, but he's a gamer. To express how I feel about this, I will now show a clip from The Office. E. Okay, how about that hot... This is the... Ooh. So this isn't a review of Donkey Kong racing. This is a review of what it's like to live with someone who's racing Donkey Kong. Okay, the reason my boyfriend thinks Monkey Kart 64 is better than Mario Kart is because he grew up with Monkey Kart 64 and is upset that people who grew up with Mario Kart had more popular sleepovers. But I like the monkey one because you are immediately greeted by Bing Bong from Pixar. Bing Bong, Bing Bong, I'm taking the shortcut. Now let me tell you why Donkey Kong is for adults. In a baby Mario Kart game for children exclusively, anybody can play that game. The controls are just so simple and intuitive. But have you ever tried to steer by pointing a fan the opposite direction you want your donut to go, it's impossible. My boyfriend got really mad at a cartoon octopus in such a way that I was reminded of this television and or movie scene. <laughs> this very real episode of Girlfriend Reviews is almost as funny as Video Game Donkey. But no. No, it's not. Also, in Mario's Baby Racing, Nintendo makes you select a Grand Prix Cup from an easy to understand menu so that you can drive through four courses in a row conveniently. To a true gamer, this is one of the most embarrassing things you can do. Now, real gamers, how we like to do the Grand Prix is we like to crash into a waterfall so that we can go and drive to each course individually if you if we had an unlocked enough birthday boy balloons take her to the moon for me okay if i may be serious for a moment I love birthday boy balloons, and it's pretty obvious why my boyfriend likes Donkey Dongs racing more than Mario Kart, which was clearly the cooler game in every single way. It's because this vivid wonderland of speed and glory features not only a soundtrack by the composer who wrote Sticker Brush Symphony on the Super Nintendo, but in addition features animals and tiny airplanes. After knowing Diddy Kong soared like an eagle making doo-doo gas in his very own game two decades ago, my boyfriend probably reacted to the hang gliders in Mario Card 8 with this part of Toy Story. That wasn't flying! That was falling with style! Thank you for watching this important episode of Girlfriend Reviews. I'm a girl. I have a boyfriend. He's a gamer. Play the Krentis part of Office. Thank you so much for tuning in to Girlfriend Reviews. I'm Angry Joe. I'll see you next time on the Angry Joe Show. Put on Krentis part. I thought you weren't supposed to eat anything after you've had a crown put in. You're having this new kind of quick drying bonding. Sounds like a good dentist. What's his name? Krentist. Your dentist's name is Krentist. Sounds a lot like dentist. Maybe that's why he became a dentist.